Greetings fellow programmers, my name is Pavel and I'm here with another Visual Basic exercise from the book The Introduction to Programming Using Visual Basic 2012. This one's from Chapter 4, Project 3, called Car Loan. It says, write a program to analyze a car loan. The user should enter the amount uh, of the loan, the annual percentage rate of interest and the duration of the loan in month. And when the user clicks on the button, the information that was entered should be checked to make sure it is reasonable. If bad data have been supplied, the user should be so advised. Otherwise, uh, the monthly payment and the total amount of interest paid should be displayed. Here's the formula. Uh, here's the explanation of, of, the, of each of the variables. So P is the amount of the loan. R is the monthly, monthly interest rate. Uh, and N is the duration of the loan in months. And there's also the total interest rate, that's the other thing we'll calculate, which is total interest equals N multiplied by the monthly payments minus P, which would be the amount of the loan. Here's my form. Uh, I just emulated whatever they supplied. Here we will enter the amount of the loan, which again is the P variable interest rate, which is the R variable, and uh, duration in month which is n and when we click analyze monthly payments and the total interest paid on the loan will be displayed so um, first thing we're gonna do get some variables in uh, so it's gonna be monthly uh, payments that's gonna be the one thing that we'll calculate that's gonna be double then there's gonna be interest paid and it's gonna be a double so these are the two things that we will be calculating and now we need some variables for the for our formulas so p as a integer uh, that's the amount of the loan and that's gonna be dim uh, r this is the interest rate so it's gonna be double because it's gonna be decimals so that's the interest rate and finally, we do the uh, n as a interest, in, interest integ integer, integer, and that's the duration in months, duration of the loan. So, how do we get uh, the values for this? Uh, well, we get them from uh, the text boxes. So our p, which is the amount of the loan, will be supplied from the first text box, which I called or I named it the TXT loan amount. This one is TXT interest rate, and this one is TXT duration. So we will simply assign those uh, the text from those text boxes into our variables. So P equals TXT loan amount dot text. However, P is an integer. Text amount dot text is, is a text, it's a string. So since we're going to be doing calculations, uh, it's best to convert it to double. So whatever the user supplies, the Visual Basic will try to convert it to an actual, actually not double because this is an integer, say integer. So it will try to convert it to an integer and then supply it to our variable P, which is an integer as well. Now the um, R, which is the interest rate uh, that will be supplied uh, for like an annual interest rate so like interest rate will be let's say 525 uh, percent but that's per year so we have to divide it by 12 and again we have to uh, uh, that, that that will still uh, not give us the actual percentage in order to get percentage all of that, the result of the interest rate divided by 12 uh, has to be also divided by 100 to get the actual percentage because we, we need the percentage, not just the uh, the initial value because that is the... Again, we are working with percentages, so you divide it by 100 and you divide it by 12 because we are working with uh, months, but the data is supplied per year. So, uh, and since again this is a number and this is gonna be a double we will convert the whole thing to 
double. So we'll see double, and we will do the TXT uh, interest rate uh, dot text divided by twelve. So that that will give us the monthly uh, the monthly interest rate, and uh, when we divide the whole thing by 100 we will get the actual percentages so uh this is the formula how to get a, a monthly percentage from a uh, from a data that is uh, formatted as a annual percent so um, that's our percentage per month and finally n which is the duration since it's an integer we will convert it to integer and it's gonna be coming from the text box duration dot text so now when we have everything ready we can calculate the monthly payments and the formula is uh, if you remember the P multiplied by R and then divided by 1 minus 1 plus R and to the power of negative N so uh, it's P multiplied by R and all of it divided by 1 minus and it's going to be 1 plus R it was 1 plus R and that to the power of n, negative N 1 plus R to the power of negative N so this is a formula for monthly payments and now with that, we can also calculate the interest rate that was paid, the total interest paid. So interest paid equals N, how was it again? Uh, now I didn't come up with these formulas, they were simply supplied from the book, uh, so I'm just using them as is. So total interest is N multiplied by monthly payments minus P. So it's gonna be N multiplied by the result that we store into our monthly payments minus P which is the loan amount so this will these are the two formulas these are the two calculations we have our results so now we can display our results in our text boxes so txt monthly payments that text equals the monthly payments however uh, I think I misspelled monthly payments. Uh, TXT. Yeah, I forgot why. Monthly payments. Yeah, that's better. So, monthly payments, TXT. Since we are working with money, I would like to format it to currency. Format currency. And we are formatting the result of monthly payments and giving it two decimal places. So, this is how we format it. This is the number that we will be formatting and this too is the decimal places we'll be formatting it into and uh, the txt interest paid equals again format currency the interest paid and we'll do it again to two decimal places uh what's wrong interest pay okay so it says a string cannot be formatted and that might be because interest paid is uh, it's double it should be all double uh, oh I forgot the dot text because it's the text for the text box that we are placing this formatted output into so when I run it now let me see if I get the correct number I have the uh, from the book the sample data is 18,000 for the amount of the loan. 525 is the annual interest rate and duration is 60 months. So when I analyze it, I get 341.75 and 2,504.86, which is exactly the numbers that the book has as well. So this is all correct. Uh, so now they want us to verify to make sure that, for example, when I uh, I'm not able to, uh, if I do, let's say, 18,000 and I do interest rate of 101, you know, or something like that, 
it will still calculate it, but this is unreasonable because interest rate is supposed to be from 0 to 100. As they say over here, uh, the monthly interest rate needs to be numbered between 0 and 100, from 0 to 100%. So, uh, so we need to do a little conditional statement here. Uh, before we enter uh, um, any value here into uh, or calculate our R, we can do something like uh, if the uh, TXT interest rate dot text. Actually, we can we can uh, put it into CW. We can format it to double. So if this is uh, less than zero, or so it's gonna be or this is greater than hundred, then uh, we will display a message box. MSG box the uh, invalid input, and um, we can do an else statement and just place everything in there. Like if everything is okay, just keep calculating. Or in our case, uh, what we can simply do is uh, sub uh, exit sub. Because uh, if it's invalid, we will simply exit it uh, and let the user fix it before we proceed any further. So now we cannot do the, you cannot check against the R because R is calculated. R is gonna be like a decimal number zero point something. You have to check the raw data that is being entered uh, to make sure that it's between zero and hundred, not the actual calculated percentage uh, that after we divide it by twelve and after we divide it by hundred. So uh, let's test that. If I enter eighteen thousand and I enter let's say five hundred percent, whatever the this doesn't matter. I get the invalid input. Okay, and nothing, uh, nothing actually changes. So, uh, where's my thing? When I do, uh, until I do, let's say, five, or let's do negative one, for example. Uh, if I do analyze again, we get invalid input. So, if I do 10%, that should be okay, and we get our calculations. Now, obviously, if we decide to enter like a string or something into any of those text boxes, then uh, that's not gonna work. It's gonna error out if I do this for an amount, uh, let's say five and sixty. We will we will error out because it's expecting uh, a double or an integer in this case, and it says conversion from string to type integer is not valid. It's simply not a number you have to supply a number even though when you enter it the number is actually a string we convert it to integer uh, you cannot convert an alphabet you know to an integer only the numbers themselves so um, but they only wanted us to really make sure that the, the number is between 0 and 100 when it comes to percentages so this little if statement will take care of that you check the text box value uh, convert it to double and see if it's less than zero or more than 100 if it is invalid input and exit uh, and wait for the user to fix it and when it's correct you proceed uh, with your with the calculations and display the results so this is the exercise i hope it was helpful it's uh, fairly short quite simple uh, you might get scared of the you know the formulas but it's simply uh, you know the way you you displayed uh, you could you could as well do portions of that and like the more complicated formulas you could do like a temporary variables that would store a result of partial calculations let's say you would calculate p multiplied by r into one variable and you would multiply this or do the calculations for this into another variable and then you would put it together the one variable divided by the second variable but in this case it wasn't so bad we could put it all in one line it's one formula the same with the interest paid so if you like the video click a like uh, 
leave a comment, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.